Hi friends, it's Storytime Sunday, but I'd rather update you on the Ashwin situation today. He called again the other day, and he wanted to know why I had not yet sent him a friend request, because he seems to think that I promised to do so. I told him I didn't promise anything. I said I would look at his profile, and I would decide if I wanted to be his friend or not. But what I told him was, I wasn't able to get to the library yet, because my daughter was sick. She actually was sick, so that was true. My daughter was crying at the time, and he said he felt like he was disturbing me and asked if he could call back later. This is the message I got. Skipped message sent on Friday at 2.27 p.m. Yeah, the site Ashwin, uh, I'm calling from. You know that where I'm calling from, but I'm telling you, ma'am, you told me that you sent me a friend request, so that's the main reason we have given you call again and again. And I just want you something that your daughter is now your daughter is better than that time or not, because you told me that your uh, daughter is uh, suffering from cold. So I just want to ask you that your daughter is better or not. So I hope that your uh, daughter may be better very quickly. So when you're free, please call me or I will call you on your number. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. End of message. To a okay, so I told him like maybe two hours before that that my daughter was sick and he thinks suddenly she's going to be better and I can go to the library. <laughs> me up. So a couple days, no, I guess the, the next day, I did go to the library for real because we had an HOA meeting. Uh, it was over an hour and a half long. While I was there, I decided I would get on the library computer and I sent him an email. I made a, a new account. And I said, hey, I can't find your profile, there's, you know, hundreds of Ajwin Shuklas, and I don't see anybody with a profile that's a hot air balloon, or Celine Dion, or a tiger, or Justin Bieber, or anything like that. I haven't gotten a response yet, but hopefully when he gets back to work tomorrow, he will email me back, and then maybe we'll all know what his real profile is. Okay, so again, I tried to make a fake Facebook profile and it would not let me. I got to a certain step where it said I had to verify my account with a mobile number and I don't have a mobile number. That's as far as I could get. So I made a Google Plus account for Princess Buttercup. And what I told Ashwin is that that's what my friends and family call me and therefore that's what I go by. I will put up the link to my Google profile in the description and I hope you all make a bunch of fake accounts and you can be my crazy family and friends on there. I'll make all my posts public and just kind of follow my lead. You'll see where I'm going. I made this realization that Ashwin's stupidity is in direct contrast to the amount of money he makes. Now you see over here Ashwin has made zero money, and I have made about $1.98 off of Ashwin's phone calls that I've recorded so far. And now you compare this to Ashwin's stupidity level, which is so high I ran out of space. Now there's me over there at uh, stupidity level zero. So... Stupidity level zero, I make money. Stupidity level high, Ashwin makes no money. Just one more thing. Ashwin didn't call the rest of the weekend, so I feel like maybe he gave up hope. But hopefully when he receives my message, he'll resume his, his calls again. Just one more thing. Princess Buttercup is from Hump Tulips, Washington. Hump tulips. <laughs> it's a real place. <laughs> Hump tulips.
lips. <laughs> All I can picture is a dog in a field of tulips. <laughs> Just one more thing. You guys are awesome. <laughs>